I think on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm trying to understand what's happening in pop culture. Corduroy hats. John Morant came back last night and played basketball. Anthony Edwards has a signature sneaker that's hot. Get ready with me, makeup trends continue to explode. Pinterest as a business is doing a lot better. What would that mean? Attention is the number one asset. Hey everybody, happy holidays, or I hope you had a great holidays. Let's get into the questions. What was the inception behind VaynerMedia? What was your vision to start the company? My brother was graduating college. I knew I wanted to do business with him. At that point, I started getting traction on Twitter because I was on it in 2007, this was 2009. Brands were starting to reach out to me like ESPN and Disney saying like, hey, why do you have like 50,000 followers on Twitter and we have like 400, like what do you know? I also was paying attention to Fortune 500 marketing and I thought it was being done backwards. I thought they were underestimating Netflix, Amazon, and Facebook, which really became, that was probably one of my best observations ever. Those companies became iconic. And I wanted to learn. And I wanted to build a marketing infrastructure for my future behavior of my future companies like Resi and Empathy Wines and V Friends. And so I kind of said, you know what? Even though I don't love the idea of client services as a high value business, I'm gonna get a lot of value out of learning Fortune 500 marketing, meeting people, and I think I can make an impact and build something big. And you know, here we are, 12, you know, 14, but I always say 12 years later because the first two years I was still working on Wine Library. But here we are regardless, less than 20 years later and we built one of the largest independent global agencies in the world and uh, we're very proud of that. How has the landscape slash company progressed over the time? I mean, look, we started as a community management company. All we did for companies was reply to people on Facebook and Twitter. Now we're doing Super Bowl spots. So we've gone the whole gamut. We've gone from, even though we were called VaynerMedia because I always knew we would do media, it took us six years before we started doing media. You know, we didn't spend a media dollar in the first six years of this company. We, we did community management, then we did content for social, then we started doing you know, billboards and television commercials and Super Bowl and all that. But our, ironically, you're catching us at a time where we're more committed to social media creative probably since the beginning of the company. And so we're, it's changed a lot, you know, going from 30, 40, you know, zero to 10 to 30 to 50, 25 year olds run by at the time a 37 year old to a company that has 2,000 people globally. Um, you know, we have more people in Asia and, and Europe than this company had in the first six years of its existence. So a lot's changed. But the ethos of employee first, what we call the honey empire, you know, honey over vinegar when we interact with each other, but let's build an empire. Practical optimism, these themes, they still ring true. And in the last two years, I've doubled down on the company for it to ring even more true, so we're excited about that. What do you see on the horizon that others may not? You know, I think what I'm historically good at is emerging talent, platform arbitrage opportunities, live streaming, like I'm on Twitch live right now. Twitch, what's good? Um, you know, just thinking about things like what I call day trading attention. I think on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm trying to understand what's happening in pop culture, corduroy hats. Uh, John Morant came back last night and played basketball. Anthony Edwards has a signature sneaker that's hot. Uh, get ready with me, makeup trends continue to explode. Um, you know, uh, Pinterest as a business is doing a lot better. What will that mean? Uh, Snapchat discovery is untapped territory for people to get bigger on. YouTube Shorts underestimated. Facebook organic reach on Reels for 21 to 40 year olds. Unbelievably huge, no one thinks about it. So I think a lot about platform and culture stuff. Um, and, uh, and so I think that's where I'm good at. The rise of AI audio. So like the Alexa doing things for you I think is gonna be massive. You know, so just a lot of things I'm thinking about. You know, VR and AR on the horizon within a decade. Many things I'll be able to catch a little bit before because I spend a lot of time thinking about them. Most people think about what can they make money on now. And I think about it as what's gonna happen that's gonna change that and create opportunity for growing a business. And so there's a big paying attention to tomorrow but not over investing on tomorrow until it's time. And so it's like living for today but keeping an eye on tomorrow and not putting yesterday on a pedestal. I'm aware that you know, television commercials worked for, you know, BMW 17 years ago, but it's not 17 years ago, you know. 17 years ago, Madonna was the biggest pop star. You know, I don't know. Just any general advice for a college student looking to explore in a marketing career? Try to find places that look like us. 
that aren't gonna teach you things that aren't real anymore. Too many of marketing agencies are about yesterday. Programmatic banner ads on websites and just like bad behavior. Like just so fight, don't be so scared about not getting a job that you take a job that you know in your stomach you don't believe in. Listen to your intuition, it matters.